Hello, uh, this is Sadashu Fadnis, Product Marketing Manager for Rubidium Signal Generators here at Anritsu. In this video, I'll be explaining various trigger mechanisms available in Rubidium's Pulse Train option. If you would like to learn more about Rubidium's Pulse Train option itself, please look at video titled Generating Pulse Train Option 25, published previously wide variety of trigger mechanisms available in Rubidium's Pulse Train option enable users to generate long periodic and non-periodic pulse patterns. Such pulse patterns are very useful for many measurement applications including testing radar warning receivers. This video has four parts. Part 1 explains the setup and the free running trigger mode. The second part explains single step and single sweep trigger modes. Part three explains breakpoint and multiple sweep trigger modes. Part four, the concluding part, explains various trigger sources and how to combine them with trigger modes to generate uh, periodic and non-periodic pulse patterns. So let's explore the next triggering mechanism. Um, but before I choose the next one, let me go switch off and then go back to trigger mode. So let's explore the next mode, which is called breakpoint. Um, so what is this breakpoint? Uh, in order to explain that, let's let's visit the list screen again. Uh, you see a column here which is called BP. Uh, this is the breakpoint column, right? Now, when you click on one of the columns here, uh, when you uh, when you click on one of the bursts here, uh, the breakpoint is enabled for that burst. And if you choose the breakpoint trigger mechanism, uh, once you trigger using the trigger sweep. Uh, the signal generator is going to output all the bursts until it reaches the breakpoint. So in this case, it will output burst number 0 and burst number 1 and it will stop there. And then when you uh, click on trigger sweep again, then it will output the remaining bursts and on and on, right? So it will it will output all the bursts until this breakpoint and then it will continue until the end of the of, of all the bursts that are defined and then again come back and then it will stop at the breakpoint uh, so let's look at that uh, so let me uh, go back to trigger we have chosen breakpoint we are going to stay with single source um, and then let me get it down so that it, we can observe what's going on on the spectrum analyzer screen and then we go to setup and then I'll enable the pulse train and then go back to trigger and then I'm going to trigger once okay so what you see on the spectrum analyzer screen is three 50% um, duty cycle pulses and then 11 narrow pulses and let's look at what we have defined here this is your 50 cycle 50% uh, duty cycle burst and this is your 11 narrow bursts and it has stopped here right now because I have put a breakpoint here and then when I go back and then click trigger sweep again the the last uh, burst is output and it's going to stop again um, and and if you click if you click on the trigger sweep again then it will wrap around and output these two words and stop here right so there you go so the first two bursts and then the last burst the first two bursts and then the last burst so this is what breakpoint does breakpoint is essentially you can define a breakpoint your own breakpoint and um, and 
and uh, signal generator is going to stop at your breakpoint it's going to stop generating the bursts at your breakpoint so we can we can try with another breakpoint here this one and let's say i disable this and apply right so in my very first burst there is a breakpoint here and the other two will be continuously output right so let's go back and let's trigger this is my first and it stopped here right and then my next the other two bursts and then it stopped here the first and the other two so you can define let's say you have more than two entries let's say you have five entries you can define any any breakpoint in between um, uh, just to stop and look at <coughs> what the device under test response is at that point.